Yo, what is going on, Kingdom Hearts fans? It's your boy, Mazia here. And as you may have heard, last night, we got the release date for Kingdom Hearts 3 at the orchestra event. So the release date is going to be January 29th, 2019, with the game coming out a little bit earlier in Japan on January 25th. Now, you know your boy got to fucking get Kingdom Hearts 3 early, niggas. <laughs> I'm going to be getting Kingdom Hearts 3 early um, through Japan. Of course, I'm going to be making a Japanese account, everything, and just buying the game early. I will not be waiting for another five days to get my hands on Kingdom Hearts 3. We did that shit with 0 0.2, in which we had to wait, I think it was two weeks, and I am not waiting, of course, another five days for Kingdom Hearts 3 while other people have the game early. Now, I remember back during 2015, Tetsuya Nomura was interviewed, and I remember him stating that the business model that they wanted to go for for Kingdom Hearts 3 was going to be a worldwide release date. Well, it apparently seems like that has fallen through, and of course, Tetsuya Nomura wasn't able to get that for us, and when it comes to a lot of people's disheart like the disheartening feeling that a lot of people have of course it's an obvious feeling that a lot of people do have and they have every right to feel um it's kind of depressing to know that of course we were waiting for the game to come out during 2018 and now to just have the game be announced to be coming out in 2019 Tessie Nomura stated that of course he's sorry for the delay that they had to put on the game and of course the fact that we will not be getting the game when we suspected to get it and some people are actually proposing the idea that this potentially could be a joke as well with me being one of them I definitely believe that of course until we get the E3 2018 stream then of course we should potentially take everything that was said here potentially as a joke but of course everyone is going to be spreading the news and find out at e3 as well that the release date will be january 29th 2019 so uh, in other news some things that were announced within the trailer is that of course aqua was in the kingdom hearts 3 trailer Kyrie was in the kingdom hearts 3 trailer lee was in the kingdom hearts 3 trailer Sora was in the Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer, obviously. Um, I, I'm not sure if we saw anything about Riku. We also learned that, of course, the Ratatouille world or some kind of thing with Ratatouille will be happening. So, of course, remember the last time we saw, of course, Twilight Town. We saw the building that looked like it was kind of similar to one of the, I think, buildings in Ratatouille or actually the actual... Um, I think it was the actual place that Ratatouille takes place in. That's what it was designed after, at least that's what it looked like it was designed after. But of course, Ratatouille will be in Kingdom Hearts 3, and apparently Sora Island 1 did a final tweet about it talking about a dark aqua within the realm of darkness. So who knows what that is, whether or not that's actually aqua now, or if that's actually the same aqua that we saw within the mirror, and of course, she is still alive. But when it comes to all of the news that we got for the trailer, of course, I would just have to say keep your eyes peeled today for the trailer as, of course, the trailer may potentially drop at the Microsoft conference, which I will be live during. And then, of course, it may also come at live at E3 as, of course, that also comes, I think, an hour after the Microsoft press conference. So thank you guys for tuning into the video. And, of course, I know exactly how you feel, how disheartened you feel that the game will not be coming out the year that they proposed. But, of course... Me and many other people were trying to tell you that it's definitely likely when it comes to Square Enix. Um, and to be quite honest, I'm, I'm, quite, I'm quite honestly like just disheartened by it. As you can tell, like my hype is definitely down in this video as per to other videos. But of course, when it comes to Tetsu Nomura's apology, and this is the note that I'm going to leave this video on. Because a lot of people proposed this in the stream and I definitely proposed it myself. For the delay at this point, the only way I feel like they can make it right is to give people an early taste test of the actual Kingdom Hearts 3 experience. Not 0 0.2, not of course some 0 0.2 update and stuff that's supposed to hold people over until Kingdom Hearts 3 since of course the game didn't come out when they were planning on it coming out. No, a full Kingdom Hearts 3 demo. Something either potentially the Colossal Titan or, of course, the Toy Story World, um, the same 30% that other people got to play. I feel like that's the only right way they can go about it. So thank you guys for tuning into the video. I'll have a collab video going with uh, Just Bimber today um, talking about what he saw in the trailer so that that way you guys can have full details and, of course, to promote him as well later on. So thank you guys once again and peace the heck out. Scam